Hi Aries, welcome to your love reading for November 2019. I'm replacing the general love reading with couples. Uh, I'm calling it couples counseling. If you're not in a committed relationship with someone, stick around because the messages you may find useful for down the road when and if you do become um, part of a committed relationship. Okay, God, guides, angels, archangels, Holy Spirit, I thank you so much for Aries. I thank you that they look to you for guidance, and I thank you for giving us tarot as a tool. Thank you for showing us the energies that we navigate in our day-to-day -day lives. Show us what three main energies Aries uh, in their coupled relationship will be navigating uh, as it relates to their relationship. Show us the energies that they'll be navigating in the month of November. We thank you for clear and concise messages. We thank you for clarification, validation, and confirmation. And we thank you for love, light, and prosperity. Show us clearly what are the three energies that Aries will be navigating as they walk through the month of November. Okay. As it relates to their couple's relationship. Okay, we're starting with spiritual strength. Wisdom and triumph. Okay, so what this is telling me is, um, well, some me a lot of stuff, but we're going to clarify it with the Arcanum Tarot. So while I'm shuffling, I want to say, guys, we have grown our channel, uh, our little community, like wildly, and y'all are a huge part of that, and I thank you very much. It is an honor to read for you guys, and I appreciate the likes, the shares, the comments, the subscribes, all that stuff. If you haven't rung the little bell thingy, ring it, because um, it helps YouTube know that this content is relevant to you. If you're not a subscriber and you're a visitor stopping in to listen to the reading uh, for whatever reason, welcome. We're excited to have you here, and hope you enjoy what... Uh, Hope you get what you're looking for. Okay. So God guides, angels, archangels, Holy Spirit, show us please. What are these messages on the table for Aries as we go through the month of November? As it relates to their love relationships, their coupled, committed, loved relationships. Please show us what these energies are and how they relate to Aries for the month of November. Okay, guys. Spiritual strength is being clarified with the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles and uh -huh, a fuzz in my mouth, I'm sorry. And the Wisdom card is being clarified with the Ace of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. And the Triumph card is being clarified with the Hierophant. And the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So, let's see what's going on here. They say, uh, there's a saying, and that's what I thought of uh, as soon as I looked down to pick this up, came to me, is uh, the couple that prays together stays together. And so I feel like this card has shown up because Aries, you and your person are very committed and very much on the same level spiritually and it feels like a part of your uh your part of who you are as a couple now whether that means that you have a ministry together whether that means that uh you're just spiritually in tune as far as how you show up in the relationship how uh how you treat each other and act within the relationship if it, whatever it's about, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are in a spiritual type business, but, but spiritually you're in tune. And it may not have anything to do with praying together or, or practicing your spiritual practices together either. It just may be that spiritually y'all are so connected and in tune. That's what it means. Also, it's, it's telling me that you've been through a lot, okay? You have been through a lot. You look at the, um, wow, I can't believe I'm getting so many, um, uh, 
of these kind of words. It's like you're in a covenant relationship. You've made a covenant with each other, but that you, uh, you, uh, it's not, it's not, uh, you truly feel like it's the both of you and God. That is your relationship. God, the creator, the, the, for, the force, the field, whatever it is that you call it. It's like a covenant relationship, whether it's an actual marriage or um, just a really close bond. It is, and you've been together for some time. And this, this is telling me that you've learned a lot through the years, whether it's not just with about the relationship itself, but about each other. And you've paid attention and you've, it's like, I'm, I'm here building blocks, these pentacles that are all stacked up here. It's like everything you've ever been through has been one solid building block on top of another, Aries. It's like building blocks, building blocks, because you've taken uh, incidents that, you know, might have at some point or another torn somebody else apart, another couple apart, you use that to strengthen who you are as a couple. I'm feeling a very, very strong energy here. Um, we're getting the five, uh, the wisdom card, which is the same as the Hierophant. It also uh, talks about change. You're also getting it as a clarifier in the next um, section. But right here, this is the, the main energy, one of the main energies, and it's wisdom. And it's about, again, about spiritual practices, about uh, structured um, constructs, constructs, and like major corporations, and big, big conglomerate type things, traditions and things like that. And I feel like this is this is possibly an energy that y'all feel called to and and it could be the marriage card. Some some people say this is the same as the marriage card. And I feel like possibly some of you are already married, but possibly some of you are not, and this is about going to that next level. But whatever it is, it's it's about taking your time and and being solid in in uh who you are but but that card tells me that you're already pretty much there so i feel like this you've had an inspired idea maybe maybe to get married maybe to become uh ministers maybe maybe that's what it is you've decided to become ministers but you've had some kind of inspired idea together and and there's a lot of not just equal give and take within the relationship, but it's almost like, okay, are you gonna are you gonna start teaching married couples maybe? Are you wanting to speak into the lives of younger married couples or they tell me I don't have to guess what it is that you're doing. <laughs> Don't worry about that, they said. But they, what they're saying is that whatever this idea is that you've come up with as a couple, that this is something that you're going you're gonna to move forward with, and it's going to be, um, it, ha it is something that the universe gave you that, that you want to work on as a couple. And it is about healthy relationships. It is about how to build healthy relationships and and you are going to be able to be an example of those healthy relationships. They're, they're making sure that I say not perfect fairy tale, uh, everything's a rose garden kind of relationships, but the real, the real deal when it comes to how to be in a relationship and what that constitutes. So I feel like this couple's counseling is more about you guys. I'm calling it couple's counseling because I just don't, you know, I'm not creative, I guess. But there, I feel like it's this particular reading is more about you actually doing something like that. Um, and then you have the triumph card. So this is actually the chariot card about moving forward. Now this guy's moving pretty fast. This is telling me that y'all are really wanting to, y'all are ready to do this. Um, as a couple, y'all are ready to move forward in this business. And it, if it's not about counseling other people about how to be married, whatever it is that you're working on together, 
you and your person, y'all are ready to go for it. Y'all are passionate about it. You feel like you've got everything that you need to take off and you're ready to take off and you're, you're ready to move. Look at the dust flying. You're ready to move and you feel like this is a calling for you. So we go back to the Hierophant card, okay, about the spiritual practices and about uh, the marriage card. Perhaps, perhaps they're saying, you know, let's, let's do this first. Maybe they're calling you to get married, you guys, if you're not already married. But the other things that it could be is that is, is to think about the wisdom that goes with, 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 within these kinds of constructs that there's methods to put into place. It's funny that I just said that because your next card is the Knight of Pentacles. So whatever it is that the two of you are trying to bring into this place together, bring into this world together, whatever it is that y'all are walking towards, this is this is about slowing down a little bit. Here's your energy. This is what you're wanting to do, right? You're like you're ready to go. Mark set go. On your mark set go and you're ready to to run, to sprint. But I'm hearing, no, it's a marathon, and it's something that we need to slow down on. This, this, this is a very weird reading. This guy right here is, um, he's the slowest moving knight in the deck, right? So, but, but whenever he brings it, whenever he brings it, it's solid. Like you can't mess with it because he has been methodical about it. He's he's done. He's been routine about it. Uh, he's got his systems in place. He's been thoughtful about it. You know, he's he's real. Every step is measured. Every step is measured. So you and your person, whatever it is that y'all are doing, I think this is wild, I th because it's. It, it sounds to me like it's going to be for a very narrow group of people, but whoever you guys are, I feel like they're asking you to slow down. Spirit's saying, let's slow down a little bit because you're wanting to move too fast. And yes, it was an inspired idea. And, and yes, you'll be able to teach about equal give and take, and you'll be able to teach about generosity within a relationship and all that other stuff. This is very true. But they're asking you to slow down a little bit. Your own life has been your teacher, your own life together. And it's, it's they're, they're making me say this, it's because of this spiritual um, connection or, or because you have, because you truly have recognized your relationship as not just with each other, but that there is uh, something higher, something, a creator involved that also um, it's kind of like the glue. I'm hearing the glue that holds you guys together. Wow. Okay. God, guides, angels, archangels, Holy Spirit, thank you so much for this reading. <laughs> Show us the PS, please. Show us the PS for Aries as it relates to this reading. What is the PS for Aries as it relates to this reading? With couples so okay so there's that in in a um, business and, and money reading it would be about you know don't hang on too tight to your money and stuff like that I feel like in this particular um, reading because of the context up top I feel like this is more about they're asking you to be a little more uh, protective of what this is that you're about to bring out. Whatever it is, if it's a book, if it's a movie, if it's actual something that you're going to teach, whatever it is that you're coming, as a couple, you're fixing to release something. You're fixing to go out and bring it. They're asking you to be a little more protective of it and perhaps a little more um, guarded about the steps you're taking to make it happen. And they're saying it's going to be a balancing act. Um, probably because you are, I'm hearing, because you're so ready to go do this. Whatever this is that you're so ready to go do, they're asking you to balance that um, uh, excitement. Uh, that let's let's go do this, that, that energy. They're asking you to balance it with 
with this, with the, you know, guard it, protect it, um, slow it down. Think on a bigger scale, I just heard. Think on a bigger scale. They're saying that this is going to, this is going to impact uh, people further beyond the reach that you, than what you had anticipated. Okay. And, and it is going to help people to get in touch with themselves, to, uh, understand how important it is to love themselves in addition to loving others. But, but it feels like the focus is going to be here, heart centered to love themselves, to give themselves the unconditional love that they have given to others or something like that. It's going to be, um, you're going to teach them how to be generous with themselves. That being generous doesn't mean, well, I don't want to give you a business plan away. Okay. So, but anyway, it's going to, it's going to actually have a more far reaching effect than what you thought. And it's going to affect people on levels deeper than what you thought. Aries. That was really wild. Um, but that's your reading. I'm so glad you stopped in. That's like the shortest reading I've done because they were so straight and to the point. You know what? I'm going to pull you an Oracle card. What's the Oracle message that goes with this, please? I haven't done it for anybody else. And if I have time, if I, if I have a short one like this, I'll do it for, for others. But because this reading was so short and to the point, yeah, I want to pull an Oracle message. Show us the Oracle message that goes with this, please. Show us the Oracle message that goes with this couple's reading for our Aries friend and their person. <laughs> okay, so the, the Oracle message is education. Oh, okay, and look, I love this. It's a three and a five. So three and a five to me, well, three and five is eight to me. Eight is synonymous with success. So whatever this is that y'all are doing, it's going to be successful. I feel like I feel like they're asking you as a couple to slow it down a little bit, maybe because you're going to miss a step, but we're going to read the book. And see what the book actually says. Um, it says life is filled with lessons. Be teachable. Wisdom comes from participating in life, not just reading about it. This card suggests that you might not have enough knowledge about what you seek, the direction to take, your circumstances, or the nature of your inquiry. Important information is coming. Now is the time to go to school, ask a person who might know more than you do, or find a teacher or a course of study so that you can more clearly understand what the next right action must be. Sometimes life unexpectedly sends you to an unfamiliar school, and you must learn by experience. Now is the time to be teachable, open to changing your preconceived notions, be a student and be willing to state the most powerful mantra of all. I don't know yet. And it's, I mean, it's the, that's the message and it's kind of confirms what they're saying here in this last grouping. <coughs> there you go. So Aries, what a very interesting couple's message, right? Um, but that is your message. So go out and have a great day and I look forward to seeing you next time.